Hello everybody, this is the Sour Lemon and welcome to Escape the Dungeon Obby. Now I skimmed over the description and apparently it's about like I stole some gold and the leader or emperor whoever is angry at me so he shoved me in this jail cell with some beautiful light right there. See I can just kind of sunbathe right here, that feels very nice, nice and warm. Um, the, the sky is kind of, oh hello, How, who are you? Anyway. Um, can I open this? Okay, I just have to touch it and it automatically goes down. But, so anyway, let me just try to escape this area from, uh, you know, do I go down there? No, that's just, that's just, uh, turtle shell texture lava death down there. Alright, how do I get over this? How, can I, do, can I just go around like this? Anyway, let's just try to escape and get my gold back. Hi, I'm Henry. Let's escape while the guard is sleeping. Um, can I just, can I actually touch him or can I like, hi, um, you know, um, I I just wanted to let you know that you know I stole your bag of chips. You know, I know I know you love Doritos and uh, the the Cool Ranch flavor. They're really good. But I I I found your secret stash and I ate them all. And uh, uh, it was totally me. I I didn't like invite my 17th friends over or anyone. We all just kind of pigged out. It was totally just me. Um, and uh, there was a dragon that showed up and wanted the chips as well because dragons like Doritos. But anyway, um, enough of that. Let's continue onwards. I guess you could say we pulled up a barrel. Well, more like, how many of these? Ten of them? Eight barrels? Alright, let me go up this ladder. Please don't break. Alright. That this texturing, though, is, is amazing. Anyway, looks like this area is under construction. Be careful not to fall into the lava. The turtle shell texture. Hell, hey, wait a second. If the lava is super hot, how come those barrels are not burning in spontaneously? Maybe they're made out of a lava-resistant material, but... Even then, I must be resistant to extreme heat as well because I didn't. My clothing, my physical form didn't get eviscerated, and my hat—I still have my hat at least. I might, you know, my hat is the best part of my my previous outfit, so that's the reason. Okay, um, you know what I just said about you know, okay, I'm piece into pieces. You know what I just said about like, you know, falling apart. Well, I take it back because apparently the lava is hot, but it only activates the heatness when you actually make direct contact with it. Anyway. That's cool. That texture though is beautiful. All right, can I can I finish getting up here? Come on, up. All right, Henry, what do you got to tell me? Checkpoint. Okay, these traps look deadly. Time your movements carefully. All right, so um. Okay, walk into these giant teeth. I don't want to get chewed. I I like how it's like you know it's only an upper row of teeth. There isn't like a bottom row either. It's just a, it's just an upper row. Please don't get me. Oh my. Uh hi. You know, as you can see, that's just. When you go underneath the lava, there's no more lava. It's like the lava instantaneously disappears. Please go. Okay, I no, I don't want to buy that. All right, watch out for the teeth. Move. Okay, thank you. This one goes faster than the other ones. That's why I didn't uh, make it. Just go now. Haha, I made it. You thought you could get me up a row of teeth. Well, guess what? You can't do anything. All right, now go up the spiral staircase. Don't get burned by the fire. I don't know if it's toxic or not. All right. Come on, my mouse is getting too far off my mouse pad. Come on, are we at the top yet? Please, please, I want to be there. Okay, now put my mouse back on the mouse pad. All right. Any gold in here? Oh wait. All right. Rule of thumb: don't touch any sort of treasure chest because they have toxic aura encapsulated inside of them. They might look like chests that you'd keep gold and silver inside or treasures or you know of the unknown but guess what you should put gas in them that's the only thing I gotta go up this again all right now don't touch the chests try to find a checkpoint before you would try to touch the chest because you don't want to do this again come on my I'm all right now all right now touch this shoot we need a key to open this door maybe one of the chests have one well it certainly isn't this one maybe this one So is it by default the... Okay, it isn't the chest. It's 100% not... Maybe it's this one over here. 100%. Alright. Maybe it's by default... Oh, that's a... That's a... Is that supposed to be like a bear pelt? Well, um... Looks like a... Looks like a jigsaw puzzle piece. Giant jigsaw puzzle piece in the form of a bear. I like it. Alright, that's a big key. Dang. That key is like almost half... It's like a quarter of the size of the door. But I guess it was so big I could just, I, by that point forget trying to put in the lock you could just grab it just use this like a giant hammer or or bat or something just bang the door until it falls apart all right speaking of bears bear traps now okay 
Oh, that's deep. I mean, it's so far down that it, the render distance doesn't show the bottom of it. You can see up there, though, the, the arches and the special pillars and bricks. All right. Please don't close on me. Please don't kill me. All right. Looks like we can only go down. All right. I could just drop down, but I might actually end up killing myself by accident. So let's just fall. Fall. Go in the square. I'm not square. I'm actually, you know, I'm actually a lemon, but, you know, a special anthropomorphic lemon guy because I'm, you know, I, I'm very, I'm very sour. I, I have a nice suit. You know, my suit is really nice. If you look at my picture and my illustration, I, my suit, I, I, I had it made, but, you know, by, uh, by lemon ink, but, you know. All right, pickles. Hi. Can I, um, you know, you've you've got a nice costume. Watch out! I hear traps in the distance. What kind of traps? You're not being specifying uh, enough. So maybe, uh, maybe you're the trap. Maybe you set them up. You're tra you're in on it. You know, you set up the traps yourself. Uh, Henry or whatever his name is. Wait! Oh my gosh! No. Hi. Does that come down? I don't know. I I don't think it come. Maybe it does. Does it? No. Okay, I'm gonna go. Maybe it was, and I, it just stopped once I made it to the end. There's a giant stone head over there. Don't eat me. All right, go on these blocks. All right, go up. All right, is that death right there? That that thing? Oh, that's a. Oh, oh, what? Wait, what? Oh my! Wait, what? How? How am I supposed? Oh wait. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Or maybe you can use it to propel yourself, but I'm not going to try that. I'm just going to do it the old-fashioned way, where you walk on the, the the stone textured blocks. Please make it. Alright, that pillar. Maybe I had to use it to uh, knock this pillar down so I can make it, but anyway. Eat me! Teleport me. Um, when you get teleported by ancient stone hedge, it creates a lightning sound effect. Looks like, looks like we've made it to some strange temple. Use the speed pad to run faster. Okay. Supersonic! Oh my gosh! Look at the green toxic acid. Maybe we're in a, maybe we're in a monster stomach and they have acid inside. Special kind of acid, green specials. All right. Stone stomach. That's what we're inside of. Except we're not. We're inside a special dungeon. Oh please wait. Hold on. Make this. Yes. Get in there. Wait. I can't run fast anymore. Hold on. What was that slicing sound? It was. It was just you know. And there was another lightning sound. I'm, maybe the slicing sound was me, my thought process, you know. That's lava from another dimension. That's not normal colored lava. That's like lava from an alternate reality. Multiverse theory. <laughs> That's a sword. Um, Please don't move. Giant, giant knight armor. Don't move on me, please. Because if you do move, that will be, um, you know... Uh, you know, make me scared because you're so giant. You you're got a nice suit. Oh my gosh. You have a nice suit, but, you know, I don't want you to destroy me. All we need is to lower the bridge. Find a lever. Maybe up here? Oh, that's a big lever. Can I even pull that? Well, well I touch it and it instantaneously, you know, moves the other direction. Alright, bridge time. Alright, hello. Alright, now. Anything down there? Alternate reality uh, lava. That's what's down there. It's just as deadly as normal lava. But it's just a different type of lava from a, from another dimension called the dimension of lava. Very creative name. The only reason I know that is because I made it up. All right, now we go to go down this stairway to nowhere. All right, that texture of rock texture keeps flickering in and out of existence. Maybe it's like stuck inside the middle of a portal and it's just flickering from one dimension to the next. Anyway, checkpoint. Now we got mist down there. Don't fall into the mist. Don't fall because if you do, you're not going to be able to climb your way back up. All right, that's open for me. They know I'm coming. Okay, get. Okay, okay. Instantly teleport. Stand there. So, um, yeah, my legs are in the platform. So, uh, did I ever tell you about the story where I fought the evil lime army when, uh, you know, I had to overcome it with my special lemon powers? Um, anyway, uh, that never actually happened because I just made it up. Alright, I think this is the work of that dragon. Wait, so the dragon is able to spray lava. Forget fire, it can spray lava. Maybe this is its, you know, pee, you know, and it just, when it you know, releases, it just solidifies into lava. That's the greatest type of urine ever. I wish my urine could do that. Anyway, let's climb up this ladder. Please don't break. I like how the the, the pea lava is spe specifically going down to the right side of me and not, you know, actually... Oh, hi. 
We won't be able to get past the dragon unless we go into the dragon. Huh, crazy, right? Uh, yeah, I would rather just, you know, by that point, I think you might as well just jump off the edge of the abyss and go into the void. Forget that. Um, hi, I'm, I'm taste good. I taste like, you know, Doritos and stuff. Well, that's like slimy, gooey textures. Okay, can I? I didn't know that dragons had, you know, you know, special z zigzag steel the purple doors at the bottom of their necks. Looks like we are inside the dragon. Remember to jump for a safe landing. Hold on. What do you mean? Wait, no. Well, at least I, uh, I made it. I guess the giant ate some the giant. I guess the dragon ate, ate some giants, or semi-giants, because you can see all their, their skulls here, so. A giant dragon ate semi-giant, you know, Robloxians, and I'm a normal Robloxian that has to get across the skulls. Hey, you know, you're very pretty, you know, you got a beautiful and handsome, you got a lot of, you know, the, I love the features that you, the way you look. I know you all look the same, but, you know, that doesn't matter. You're all, you know, all unique and individual ones. It's not like someone copy and pasted you. Why does a dragon have an ice dimension in its, in its gut? These questions will never be answered. All we have to do is accept them for what they are. Most important questions of reality will never be answered. All right. All right. And now we have like a now we have dehydrated g beef jerky d inside. You know the maybe this is the armpit interior armpit. We, I don't know. Maybe you know it's dried hamburg or beef jerky or something. Alright, maybe this is just really toxic ketchup. It's been sitting here for a thousand years. So it's just, you know, toxic tomato ketchup. And these, this is like an alien dimension texture. Alright, hi. Where's the dragon? In, oh, wait. I went into it over there. Maybe it like, maybe when I came out of its, you know, out of the dragon in a, in that specific disgusting area, it hit me with its tail super fast and I got flung through the air and landed here. Where, do my, where am I supposed to go? Oh, over there. Hi, can I take a photo of your dragon? You know, uh, from my scrapbook, you know. I know you're, I know you You know, maybe you've got some friends on, you know, social media that like to see your photo. They, you know, you haven't met them. You may have met them for a thousand years. Maybe they're still around, you know. Um, this ladder will take us out of this place. Now time for a long walk home. You know, don't you mean a long climb? Look, I'm going I'm to keep it 100% real with you. If I climbed a ladder like this, this tall in real life, by the time I made it to the top, I'd be exhausted. I'd be tired. I'm not I'm not making that up. I really would be kind of like, Ugh, dang, that was a hard climb. But hey, all right, now go up the stairs. Now we go up the stairs. Look at that rock texture. And that one, I like how that one's actually, this one's a decent rock texture. Now it's just fuzz material. Obviously, the fuzz material is the better of the two because, you know, you know, if, if it's the fuzzier it is, the more life essence is in the texture which isn't 100 percent accurate but okay instant teleport there we go so anyway that story i was talking about with the lemons uh yeah when the limes i mean i'm the lemon but you know i the story i was talking about was it's it's kind of true because i said so but not really and you'll have to decide for yourself how true it is it's like 75 percent true maybe 77 if i if i'm stretching it all right Wanna look at this resolution texture. That's a beautiful texture. I love that. Alright. And the dragon's just kind of chilling over there. Okay, so do I have to... Can I run? So, um, yeah, this is a, a long stretch way. You know, if you ever wanted to get your daily walking exercise, you know. This is what you do. You just kind of walk, like, stroll pace just along this. And back a couple times, your legs will be super strong. But by, if, by, like, a month, you'll be able to pick up a forklift. That's how muscular... And, awesome they will be hey dragon you know it's like you know I, I i know we i know you're teleporting in and out of existence but if you can hear what i'm saying you know you're cool you know i like your eyes and your 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 nose your teeth are beautiful you know you keep them cleaner and you know even without a toothbrush you may be all the eating on those on the villages and stuff and the fire keeps them i'm getting filthy we made it use the power ups to find the secret badge what if i don't want to can i get in all right now Jump pad, speed, yes! Woo! Where's the secret badge? Is it like somewhere easy access or is it like hidden in like the beginning of the, the map or whatever? I guess we'll never know because I'm not about to commit to, wait, what? 
Is this for the secret badges? I just found a secret area. This is a big green texture. Well, anyway, just jump off into the void. Just... Whatever, I don't really care too much about the secret badge. I can live without it. Would you like to buy a Sucker Punch or 2000? No. Well, at least I made it to the very end. Uh, you won, but can you find the secret badge? Now I am uh, going to pass on that. So, um, thank you everybody for watching this video. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my main gaming channel, which is called Captain Cactus Games. You know, games with a Z, not with an S. Also, subscribe to my art channel, which is called Octo Designs. You know, also with a Z instead of an S. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And be sure to like the video as I post obbies on here pretty much every single day. With the exceptions of Sundays or whenever I specify. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next obby.